Hey everybody, uh, here we are at the Nicolay National Forest in Bylas County, Wisconsin. And interestingly, uh, Bylas County is one of the uh, better known counties in Wisconsin for Bigfoot sightings. Um, I believe the Bigfoot uh, Field Researchers Organization has at least five recorded sightings here, um, which doesn't necessarily sound like a lot, but it is a lot for Wisconsin. Uh, now, we have recorded other sightings up mm -hmm. here ourselves. So not everything gets sent to the BFRO. It's not necessarily representative of, uh, of how many sightings are in an area. I can tell you uh, among locals uh, in Wisconsin, Bylas County definitely has a reputation for Bigfoot sightings. Now, mm -hmm. uh, just last year, we had received a report of some... Uh, weird eerie howls heard in Rhinelander, which isn't too far away from here. And uh, interestingly enough, when I was interviewing the uh, witness to, to those howls, or one of the, the, the witnesses, there are multiple, uh, he told me about how he and his friends would, would come out into the, the National Forest, and they experienced all kinds of, of weirdness out here as well, um, up to and including, uh, you know, large humanoid sightings. So uh, it's an interesting area. Uh, Vilas County, of course, too, is also the home of Eagle River, Wisconsin, uh, famous for us for the uh, 1961 uh, Joe Simonton uh, UFO occupant encounter. So uh, we do have our dogs with us, Bullet and Jadzia. Uh, I think it's always fun to take them uh, anytime we go out into the woods, especially when looking for monsters, because dogs have much better senses than we do and uh, i think it would be likely in the event of encountering one that uh, they would know about it before we do now i've had this for a while as well but we brought along our sasquatch pheromone um it is very potent uh you can tell emily is just barely not gagging right now and so we will see. I will have that with me. Maybe it will lure a Sasquatch our way. Uh, hopefully it doesn't put them in a romantic mood. It is pheromone. We'll see. And, <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll go from there. Emily. I have nothing to add except that don't open that in a closed car. It's bad. It smells so bad. Yeah, it's real bad. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, without further ado, shall we? Yeah, I think the dogs are anxious to get out. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head out. Should we take a look at this trailhead first? Yeah. All right, where are we? Parking lot. That would make sense. Yeah, because we're on the military road side. Oh, there's a, we could have got there from Highway 72. What do you know? Okay. But I'm well, let's go. You know. Sure, well, we'll see how we feel. Come on. Due to recent storm damage, the Anvil trail system is blocked in many areas. Huh. All right, well, well, let's take a look, see how bad it is. What did she seem like she was afraid of? I don't know, but she had her tail back and like... Hmm. She didn't want to go by either. She had her tail back, she didn't want to go where we were? Mm -hmm. So closer to whatever that thing is. 
must be because of that big tree. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe something like made a uh, shelter out of the tree. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't like that. Alright, come on, bud. Flew into my ear. I did not enjoy it, Emily. Pop in. You want to move her? Cool. Okay, let's go, guys. Oh, good. It's raining again, even though the sun is shining. It's like shining directly down on us from a beautiful blue sky and we're still getting periodic showers. I swear, only in Wisconsin. Come on, bud. This isn't too bad either. Nah, we'll be able to get over it. Bullets, however, should probably go under it. I think the dogs can probably go under. All right, come here, bud. You can do it. Good boy. Good boy, bullet. It's a cool hill. Yeah. A weird little hill over there. Come here, bud. Let's get a picture of this weird little hill. As it rains on us again out of a clear blue sky. Cannot stress that enough. What do you see, bud? What are you up, boy? What? Well, bullet's got something. What is it, bullet? What do you see? Or smell, more likely. It was something initially it was something over in this direction. It seemed to startle him. And then, uh, you know, he focused his attention in that direction for some time. I mean, the weird thing is, I thought I saw something move real quick, but I couldn't really get a read on it or anything. Might have been a deer. Might have been in a lot of things. Just you. Well. Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be there anymore. Let's move on to the next portion of Damage Trail. You know, of course, up here, uh, when we're out, I'm a lot more concerned about bears. And that's something that, you know, generally, like if, if the dog suddenly notices something that puts him on high alert immediately, I think we need to pay special attention to that. And maybe not film it? Well, I mean, a bear is probably not going to charge us from off of the trail for no reason. Bullet, go. But we would want to be aware of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying that, you know, if the dog suddenly becomes alert mm -hmm. of something off the trail, whoa, then uh, I think we should pay attention to that. This thing is so big, pretty much has to just be filmed because I can't get it in one picture. 
So this is a whole damn tree that has come down. Wow. Mm -hmm. Quite a year for storms. All right, come on, bud. You know what I like about these trails? Hmm. Is there is basically no sign of human presence on them. You never see any garbage or anything. Yeah. I don't think they attract a lot of, uh, they, well they either have a great DNR up here, which I'm sure they do, mm -hmm. or also um, I don't think you get the, ca the kind of casual weekend hikers that we get down in southern Wisconsin all the time. Right. Who just like throw their empty yeah, they just throw their empty garbage on the trail or whatever. Like the Gatorade tree? Yeah, that was terrible. See, because what's interesting about these down trees is they form these kind of natural shelters. You see that? Mm -hmm. See if I can get a quick picture of this. Go ahead. Oh, thanks. She's not no, for sure. But I do, uh, I do think it's interesting. And that one that we saw, that again, it, you know, and I got a video and, and picture of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it does form a kind of natural shelter. Yep. And there are definitely people who believe that, uh, you know, Bigfoot will... Uh, stay in those. And the other one, it looked like it had almost been reinforced, although it's hard to tell if it, you know, it had been uh, reinforced or had additional material added to it as a result of other branches falling, mm -hmm. or if, you know, they had been placed there. So, just something interesting to keep an eye out for, right? Yet another. Okay, let's go, bud. You can do it, boy. Good boy. Okay. She wants to keep going. Oh, I know. She's all about it. Oh boy, okay. Um. Okay. Come on. Come here, boy. Come on. Oh, you're fine. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Come here. I know. Come on. It's a little slick up here, so be careful. But there was no going over that tree. Damn, this might not have been the best idea. Come on, boy. Oh, wait a minute. Where does the trail go? 
See what I'm saying? Yeah. Does it just end at this tree? I don't know. Well, it sure seems to, doesn't it? Yeah. What the hell? Well, where did where we... Where did we walk? It was... Actually, it was over there, wasn't it? Yeah. It was where all of the like branches were, so we might have went too far. Well, turn around, go back. Can you go? You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, we well, have to move to your right. Okay, come here, boy. Oh, well, there it is. Huh. You okay? Huh. Must have walked around and like walked right over the trail. Oh, even better. What in the hell is this? Oh, I don't know about this, Emily. We might be out of luck here. Man, I can see the trail. Okay. I think we can do this. Okay. Just watch where I go. Come here, bud. Come here, boy. Come on, bud. Come here. No, no, not not over. Under. Bullock, come here. Come here, bud. Good boy. Okay, let's go under this. Okay, go, go, go. Bullock, go. Do not wait for me. You alright? Yeah. Here, I'll call her to me. Come here, pup. I got her. To wash these clothes. Make sure to do a tick this check. This is why I didn't shower today. I hear you. I don't think there's really any ticks out right now. I don't think there is but we'll still. Me. What's that? I had to fix her leash. Oh, but we'll still do a check when we get back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's what's really interesting mm -hmm. is you can like tell that she's just watching bullet. And doing what he does. I'm gonna get a picture of this giant fucking thing. I feel like we did this. Yeah. What an enormous pain in the ass this was. But it's worth it. Adventure. Adventure. Alright guys. Well, let's see what else uh, nature has in store for us here. Oh boy. Huh? We're still on the lake loop. Did you know that the lake loop is not an easy trail, apparently? Also, I don't think at any point do we actually see the lake while on this trail. Yeah, I don't Yeah. No, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're... because... According to what I saw on the map, we've already basically gone around it. Or past it or something. Okay. All right, come here, bud. Come on. Good boy.
Okay. The trail's really widened up here. You can see where, so the trail's really widened up. You can see where the DNR brings vehicles in. Yeah. Okay, well, what are we gonna do? I think so. Okay, yeah, I think we can get around this way. Come on, boy. Come on. Well, it's not too bad, surprisingly. Huh, I do think it's interesting. The bullet was kind of wary of that. Mm -hmm. He did show you know, some of the, I like guess, similar interest to what he did before. So you really can't help but wonder, you know, mm -hmm. again, if these fallen trees provide temporary shelter for any number of animals, including Bigfoot, what? especially Bigfoot. All right, come on, boy. Yeah, my fear is that we're going to get almost to the end and find one of these that we just can't get across. Like, what is this? How the, how the hell are we going to do this? Leave it. Okay. No, come here, bud. Come on. I need to get around this somehow. Oh, I want people to be able to see this. I'm going to take... Here, come up this way. I'm going to get a picture of this again. Because this shit is fucking unreal. Come on, pup. Pup, pup, I'm so worried. What, did you step on her? Yeah, because she kept walking this way. I'm so sure behind me. Yeah, there's no going around this. Okay. Let's go, bud. Now you go, Emily. Go, Jadzia, go. And take bullet. Here you go. Go. Okay, go, 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 go. We can get under this one and over the next. <laughs> we gotta be almost done, right? Okay. How long have we been out here? I have no idea. Well, let's see what time it is. 4.30. Well, what time did we leave? Like 2? Yeah. So. Wait. Stay. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go, bud. I'm gonna see what I can tell from the map. Okay. Okay, hold on a sec. I swear to God, like this thing did not seem that long, did it? No. Hold on. Good there better not better not have been like Oh, great, I have absolutely nothing for service here. Not even the roaming. Well, I'll just have to wait. Come on, boy. Oh, 
But this trail was not supposed to be that long. No. I mean, given we're not moving super fast, but we still gotta be close. I mean, we didn't miss any forks or turnoffs. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We did it. Yeah. So that way back to the car. Holy cow. Yep, I recognize that. Holy shit, we did it. Oh. Which way to go? That way. Okay. Remember? Because we came this way, saw that. Yeah. And then. I guess I realize you came out the same way though. You went in. Yeah. That's what makes it a loop. Alright. But yeah, that's where we entered, so. This way back to the car. All right, well, that was an experience. Uh, you know, we picked an intermediate trail that I'm sure uh, should be labeled uh, difficult or expert, uh, considering the number of downed trees on it that we had to climb over. So uh, we did note a couple of interesting uh, downed tree structures, um, speaking of, of downed trees. So, uh, you know, none of them necessarily looked deliberate, although there was one that I thought maybe had had some things added to it uh, that, that could show um, some intention there, although it could have just been branches that had, had fallen on it uh, naturally somehow. We've had a lot storms. of storms. Yeah, we've had a lot of heavy storms come through the entire state, and you know, the, the Northwoods are no exception to that. Uh, so it, it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if, uh, if, if what we were dealing with there was just um, fallen branches added to an already fallen tree. What's, what's interesting to me about that though is that that is still a structure that could be used for shelter. So uh, it doesn't necessarily indicate the presence of something, but it is something that if there were uh, uh, any kind of animal um, already there, up to and including Bigfoot, right, um, it could use that for, for shelter. Um, you know, well, assuming Bigfoot is an animal, but boy, that opens a whole other can of worms, doesn't it? Uh, so anyway, um, we didn't notice any footprints or anything. Interestingly enough, this area is very... Uh, sandy, like the soil is very sandy, yeah. especially on those trails. Um, so you don't get a lot of, of good prints anyway. I didn't even see any deer prints or anything no. on those trails, um, and 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 that's largely why uh, it, they're not. You know, there isn't a lot of mud or anything. It is real sandy soil, so you don't get uh, you don't get a lot of good tracks in there. Um, there were a couple of instances where the dogs certainly seemed concerned by something. Mm -hmm. Hard to tell what that was. Uh, you know, we'll go back and, and review the footage in case it captured anything with you and I didn't. Um, I don't know that it did, but you never know. And uh, I think for me, interestingly, um, getting out in the, the Nicolay National Forest again reminds me of how easily something could live out here. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, assuming that uh, Bigfoot is some... Uh, otherwise mundane biological species, there's plenty of habitat out here uh, for, uh, for something like yeah. that to, to live. Uh, although, you know, with the number of UFO sightings and, and, and other incidents of, of high strangeness that occur in this area too, you never know, uh, that could speak to uh, a more paranormal explanation for at least some Bigfoot mm -hmm. sightings. So definitely hard to tell, uh, but certainly an interesting area. And uh, what do you think? I think it was a really fun, adventuresome hike, but I am I think between me and the dogs and ready to get cleaned up. We had to climb over so many down trees that I feel like <laughs> I was like lot. rolling around in the woods. So I'll do two more, three more tick checks. And... Okay, fair enough. Yeah. All right, well, that's all for now, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed this view of the Nicolay National Forest, and we will see you again soon. But until then, keep it weird. Keep it weird.